So, uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, uh, yeah, welcome to this info session for the master program uh, in global business at uh, Johannes Kepler University. Uh, today, it's an info session. We will inform you about the study program. My name is uh, Robert Breitenecker. I'm professor for global business study and studies and uh, the program director uh, for global business. Uh, program. Uh, beside me you see Julia Semper. She is the program manager of the global business uh, program and we both uh, will guide you through the program today. Want to say yeah, good afternoon also from my side. Um, uh, we will guide you through our three paths of the global business program. Uh, feel free to interrupt us uh, Anytime you have questions, we will give you a general overview of the three paths of our program. Uh, program, and um, we will leave some time at the end to give uh, space for your questions and our answers to it. We hope we can answer everything. Uh, if we need some time, then you also have the possibility to write us an email at the general email address of the MTB program that we will show you later. Um, and we will make sure to address all your questions. Uh, as soon as possible. So uh, I give the word back to Robert uh, to Thank start you. with the presentation. Yeah, uh, so the uh, master program in global business, uh, yeah, we have three paths in this master program. Uh, you will, uh, yeah, we will inform you later uh, which path these are. So these are country uh, focused uh, path in this uh, program, so uh, we will introduce later. So a short overview about uh, this uh, presentation. We will give you uh, the characteristics of the Master in Global Business. Uh, we will tell you more about the program structure. It's a very special structure uh, and you will see, yeah, if you are interested in an international program, it will be the right program for you. Uh, the advantages of this program, uh, we will uh, give you an overview of the, about the W3 option uh, in this program, give you insights into the different tracks and curricula, special, special things, and uh, we will give you also some insights about our alumni. Uh, okay, let's start. So we have a uh, three paths so the global business is one master program and you have the possibilities uh, possibility to choose between three regional specializations or uh, country specific uh, specializations uh, the path one is troika it's the uh, a cooperation with russia and italy the ACT program, the X program, is in cooperation with Canada and Taiwan. And the back here is the our newest uh, path in this uh, series of global business programs is the specialization uh, and focus on the countries of Peru and Canada. So the characteristics of the program: it's a classical two-year master program in the field of global business. It prepares you as potential students for an international career in management. So if you want to, to work later in a, a global oriented, uh, international oriented company, it will be the right program because the program prepares you for an international career. Not only in terms of international business context and management courses, but also in cultural and intercultural understanding. So the program is a master of uh, the degree you earn is a Master of Science uh, with the extension Global Business. It's a 120 credits master as usual. And uh, the duration of this master program is uh, two years. So uh, the program structure is very special because it's uh, divided in a national year and an international year period. The national year uh, period, uh, you will study at JQU. So students study at their home university. You will take courses in general management competences at JQU. And in the international year, uh, you study abroad. You study abroad uh, at all three partner universities. So the Global Business Master Program 
is a joint program between exact three partners. So, and uh, you will study the international year at all three partner universities. We will explain it later at which university you will study. You, the international year includes uh, courses in international with an international perspective. You have a second language uh, you learn and uh, the international year includes company visits in all three countries so that you get experienced in uh, the local environment where you study uh, abroad. Business projects during the third term of each program is more or less the asset of the program. So it's a very unique uh, thing that you get really involved in a real company project at the end of the international year. So do we have to add something, Julia? No. No. <laughs> the advantages, yeah, big advantages. You have one class. Um, so this means you study in a student uh, cohort. So you will be selected for JQ or each uh, partner university selects uh, their own students. So it's a, uh, it's a uh, limited number of students we are able to collect. So uh, for each path we select about 10 students and altogether you are between 30 and 40 students in a student cohort. Uh, and you study in this cohort in the international year. Uh, all partner universities recruit students uh, worldwide, so it's a really intercultural setting. Yeah, at minimum you have three cultures involved, and uh, yeah, you study one international year at least nine months, one study year. Uh, in three countries. So, for example, in Path 1 with the Troika program, you study in Russia the international year, you study in uh, start in Russia, you uh, came to, uh, you will come to Austria uh, to check you, and then you finalize the international year in Italy. Uh, for the ACT program, you start, for example, in Canada, you go to Taiwan, and you finalize the international year in Austria, or for our back uh, the path with Peru and Canada. You start uh, again in Canada, you will come to Austria and you finalize the international year in, uh, in Peru. Uh, the working environment, you, have, you work in international teams, you will change the teams or we will change the team settings from uh, class to class or from uh, term to term, so from each uh, country term, the uh, teams are mixed again so that you get involved in new team works and new cultural experience through the whole international year. You get in touch with innovative companies. Yeah? Uh, with uh, We have involved company visits in all uh, country terms so that you get a real experience uh, and contact with innovative companies uh, in these regions. You have real world business experience through the company projects at the end. And uh, what you have not worry about is credit transfer from, <laughs> from the our partner universities. So uh, your credits you earn in, at the partner universities are directly uh, transferred to your JQ degree. And the advantage in all bath we have a double degree option so you can earn a second degree uh, if you do some additional courses and write a second master uh, thesis so the double degree option earn a optional double degree from national Sun Yat Sen University from Taiwan from higher school of economics or from Central Business School in Peru requirements, write a second master thesis, have additional courses, and in case of the Russian degree, you have to do an internship either in Russia or a company related to Russia. Okay, these are the main characteristics. So uh, to describe the path, uh, three paths or possibilities, the three country specific specializations in a global business uh, program, the Troika with Russia, Austria, Italy, 
the partner university is the higher school of economics in Nizhny Novgorod. Nizhny Novgorod is uh, about 300 to 400 kilometers in the southeast of uh, Moscow, uh, from Moscow. Uh, the second partner university is, is the University of Bergamo in Italy. Uh, then the ACT program, the second path, uh, is uh, our main partner in uh, this track is the University of Victoria in Canada and the National uh, Sun Yat-sen University in Kaohsiung in Taiwan. The back uh, track uh, is the Partner University in Peru, is the Centrum Graduate Business School from the uh, Bonfica Católica del uh, Peru, uh, University del Peru uh, in Lima, Peru and the University of Victoria, again in uh, Victoria, Colombia, both at the east coast, uh, west coast of uh, the Pacific. So therefore the abbreviation back, it is for Pacific Coast. So the courses in the international year, uh, only to give you a short overview which uh, courses you uh, have to expect when you study the global business uh, program. You see, uh, you start, for example, a Troika program in Russia from October to December. You have courses in international management, uh, international business projects. You have in each country uh, courses to learn about the specific economic uh, business context. Uh, for example, you have the Russian economic business context, the Austrian business context, and the Italian economic and business context uh, so to learn about the, how uh, the economy and business works in this special region. You have courses about uh, cultural awareness, where you learn <clears throat> to deal with different cultures and uh, where you learn or get advised in working in intercultural, multicultural teams. You have uh, then courses with, for example, Russian financial system, international finance, risk management, international marketing, global governance. So these are business related courses. And as I mentioned, you have uh, in each track a second uh, language. In uh, the Troika program, you can choose uh, between Italian and the Russian language. You, it's your choice which language you choose. So um, I would like to add something to that. Um, as far as the language choices is concerned, uh, for the second foreign language, they usually start with zero. So you do not have to have any prior knowledge of the, the foreign language that you want to learn. So it's uh, Italian basic and Russian basic course that you would choose in the Troika program. For students who have advanced or slightly advanced skills in these languages, we usually tend to recommend to take the second foreign language. So they have the same uh, learning pace as the other students in the program. Um, and we also recommend to, or sometimes also help to organize additional more advanced language courses, which we cannot always guarantee, but um, especially in Russia, it's possible, for instance, to organize some more advanced uh, Russian language courses uh, on a private level. Um, so it's possible for everyone who wants to improve the language skills to do so, although uh, it's not always uh, impossible within the framework of the program itself. Okay, so I go ahead. Yes. Next slide. Oh no, that's back. So, wrong direction. So, okay, some impressions from uh, Nizhny Novgorod. Yeah. So some picture you see here the not the main campus but the building where you will be taught uh, in the global business program. Uh, yeah. So some impression. Typical Russian uh, uh, city. Yeah partner city from, uh, from, uh, from Linz, yeah? And uh, with more or less the same historical industrial development. So industrial city like, or uh, like uh, Linz. So Bergamo, you know, a uh, beautiful city with a old, very old uh, core city. Uh, here a picture from Bergamo. So, Courses international year uh, from the ACT program, from the ACT program. 
you see more or less uh, the same courses or, or same focus with the international focus. We start always with more or less business, uh, global business fundamentals in the first term. Yeah. In the second term, you have uh, global business development and the entrepreneurship courses. And in the third term, uh, you will have courses in business, uh, global business in action. So you really practice what you, what you have learned in Beth 1, 2, and uh, in, in, in term 1, 2, and uh, in your uh, maybe in national year. So you see that you have the North American business context to learn about the North American uh, business and economy. You have Asian specific business context and the European business context. You see there is a different uh, business related context courses. Uh, global leadership and cultural intelligence uh, is a course which uh, will follow through all the three terms. Uh, because it's again the, uh, the, 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 the guidance and, uh, and, and support for the cultural understanding of all the three different uh, cultural backgrounds. Again, international financial courses, yeah, and you have a note language choice in this term because, uh, yeah, Canada is uh, or Victoria is English. Uh, only English speaking and, and uh, you have uh, to take Mandarin as a second language in this uh, path. Okay, so the next, uh, some impressions from Victoria, beautiful campus, uh, again, yeah, directly or directly on uh, the Pacific. See here uh, Queen Victoria and the government building from British Columbia. A very nice city. And you have a second very beautiful campus at Kaohsiung, also directly on the sea, on the Pacific. So, uh, yeah, nice campus and, uh, yeah, some impression from Kaohsiung. Uh, Courses in the international year of the backtrack, uh, more or less the same as uh, in the act. You will see the same uh, course names. Yeah, business, uh, global business fundamentals in the first term, in the second term, global business development and entrepreneurship, and in the third term, uh, courses focused on uh, global business in action. So you see here again the business consulting project where you have the real company project at the end. Uh, languages, uh, yeah, you have to take as a JQ st student, you have to take uh, Spanish as second language. Uh, we offer in this term three different levels of Spanish. Uh, so two. you have uh, two, sorry, sorry. Two, two uh, <laughs> levels of Spanish in this uh, track. So uh, yeah, if you have advanced uh, experience and knowledge in Spanish, so it's, this is, might be an option maybe for you. So, some impressions from Lima, yeah, because uh, Victoria is again the partner in this uh, track. So Central Graded Business School uh, and university is from the Fonseca University, uh, Catolica di Peru. I think this is the abbreviation so nice campus on the uh, yeah very modern campus uh, from the centrum created business school they are uh, well known uh, about their executive training also so a very uh, competitive uh, yeah uh, partner so some uh, experiences from our graduates. Maybe Julia, you will take over 
So yeah. So we just wanted to give you some insight in what uh, our graduates do. So we collected some, uh, you know, statements from our previous students who already made it into the business world. Um, so this is Kerstin Jungreitmeier. She graduated from the Troika program uh, in 2017-18 and now she's working as a retail process management specialist at BMW, Group Central and Eastern Europe. So you can also deduct from that that a lot of our graduates and really who want to, we have to say, work in a company with an international focus and usually they also hold positions where they deal with colleagues, partners uh, from different country, etc. This is what the program should prepare you for. So I, I would just like to read your statement aloud. Um, for me, the Global Business Program meant growing beyond borders, both professionally and personally. Also working, studying and living together with 30 people from three different countries contrib contributed a major part to the person I am now. Ultimately, it opened doors regarding my career that I did not even know existed. So you can also see there's a lot of uh, personal learning in the program. Um, as we already said, the company projects are very important. And also in the other courses that uh, was something I like to mention, you will always work in multicultural teams. So you learn about, a lot about other cultures, but also a lot about your personal working style. Um, and the second um, statement we collected is from one of our ACT graduates. Um, he is now currently working as an, ex and an expert in Canada for a subsidiary um, of the Fustalpine Group. So he's now the CFO, Vice President of Fustalpine Rotec, based uh, in Canada. Uh, and he graduated from the EACT program, I think, in 2012. Um, here's his statement. The ACT program did not just open my cultural mindset, it was a game changer to my professional career. Overall, it opened doors for me in many respects. Studying on three different continents provided me with an inter intercultural experience like no other, preparing me to take the leap to work abroad with confidence. So you see they're all working for really, well, for Austrian companies or uh, German companies, but with a very international focus. Um, and they really made quite a career step. So uh, what we see from our, all our credits is that they, um, that the companies are open to take them on the labor market because of this international experience. Because uh, what they say is usually, if you have lived in three different countries, you survived three different teaching styles, you adapted to different cultures, you moved around, you have a certain flexibility that is very important in nowadays business world. As we all can see, the business world and the world is changing very fast <laughs> and uh, having a certain flexibility helps it to survive, but also to help our companies to survive in this uh, challenging environment. Admission <clears throat> procedure, yeah, application. Maybe Julia, you are, yeah, you're in charge of this <laughs> ask, so <laughs> yeah. go ahead. Yes. Yeah, so about the admission procedure. First, um, I assume that in this information session, there might be some Czechy students and some students coming from different universities. So uh, the application pre procedure is slightly different. So I would like to start with uh, the Czechy U students that are probably now in a bachelor program or in another master program at Czechy U. For you, um, the application is directly on the website of our international office, the Auslandsbüro. Uh, when you say going abroad, you can just upload your application there. For uh, international students, uh, we usually um, ask you to send us your uh, application material before to our MTB um, program email address. We will show it later. Um, so we can double check um, if you can be admitted directly to the program or if you have to take any additional courses. We usually do a pre-check um, and then you can also upload um, your material on the website of our international office. Anyway, if you come from another university, I would always prefer to contact, contact us first just to make sure that we have you <laughs> on our screen um, in order to, um, to let you know if you can be directly admitted to program. For all students uh, who apply for a program, uh, I would like to add that there's, there's a possibility of priority setting between not programs, as we call it now, between our paths. So if you say, okay, I would actually prefer to be 
in the ACT path, uh, but the Troika program is also interesting for me. We usually say, okay, pick one priority and then a second and third. So if the first option does not work out because we have many applicants this year, we can always uh, uh, give you the chance to participate in some of the other programs that we are offering or other paths of the program. Um, usually the application deadline for people who are not yet finishing their bachelor program uh, is on November 13th. Um, if you want to participate or, or already start the study program in October and you finish your bachelor degree before the end of June or, uh, or mid-July this year, um, we also usually have some remaining spaces because people drop out of the programs um, and we try to fill those spots. So if you want to start earlier, um, we already talked about we are pretty full already for the intake in autumn, but uh, we assume that there will be some remaining places. So for that, also write us an email, uh, tell us when you would like to start, and then we can let you know if there are still spots available for the program. In addition, um, uh, we also usually try to fill our international program. So as you've seen from the structure of the program, um, some people do the national year at JQU first, uh, but if there's a spot available, um, some people also start directly with the international year. So we have a certain uh, flexibility within the program structure, um, also to let people who've done one term at JQU or who started directly uh, with the international year to start the program if there's a remaining place. So we um, really need to see in every situation <laughs> what is possible now. Um, this is why we also try to be in close touch with you to to um, guarantee that everyone can pursue a study program um, according to their own plans and interests. Um, yeah, what I also would like to add is that there are scholarships available for the study periods abroad. Uh, maybe just to tell you in advance, there is no uh, tuition fee at JKU. I, I mean, Austrian students probably know that. There's also no tuition fees at our partner universities. So even if you're uh, studying at, um, at NSYCU or University of Victoria or, or at HSE, uh, you do not have to pay the local tuition fees. Um, just for your information, our, the students who participate through our international partners, they pay up to 25,000 Canadian dollars for these international years. <laughs> In Austria, we're quite lucky to offer you this program um, at uh, a very limited cost. I mean, you will have traveling costs, which will only partly be covered by the scholarships. But anyway, compared to what your international colleagues have to pay for it, I think it's still um, okay if you consider what, what um, is usually your takeaway from the program. Yeah, for the scholarships, you can also get in touch, sorry, <laughs> but, uh, uh, with our international office and you will re receive more details about that uh, at a later stage of your application. Maybe to add to the application procedure. So uh, I have mentioned that we have limited places for the program. So at least 10 to at least 15. Yeah, it depends on the path. And uh, you will get selected. So there is a selection process. So we uh, we, uh, we go through your application uh, and then uh, you will be pre-selected and if you seem to be uh, okay, so if your application seems to be okay for the program, you will have an interview in English. So this is part of the selection process. And only if you go to, through this uh, whole selection process, we select uh, the most, uh, uh, yeah. Best, best students for the program. So it's not that you apply, you will uh, get the place. So that is the point, yeah. So, uh. Uh, so yeah, as, as Robert said, uh, so we have only limited a uh, number of places because the program size is limited uh, because of the special setting of the program. All the courses in the program as in the international year will be organized only for you, for your group. Um, so this is quite a unique setting and there will be very close uh, support from all the global business teams all around the world, <laughs> wherever you study. Um, and you also have a very... Uh, uh, good guidance from all the professors involved in the program. So this is quite special. The national year is a bit different. There you will attend a course at the JKU together with other master students. So it's like a normal study program at JKU. Um, but the international year is quite limited, more probably closer to a University of Applied Sciences in Austria. You have a very tight schedule. There's mandatory presence in class. You really have to perform. You have to 
uh, participate also in social events in company visits because it's all considered to be part of the program. Okay. So time for questions. So maybe I have to add, yeah, we did this, the global business program is one uh, program out of many others of the uh, JGU business school. So we have, uh, maybe you have uh, heard also some other information sessions and we, we got the first question. So I will probably not manage to finish my bachelor degree this semester because I'm missing one free ECTS. Possible to start a program anyway. Can I take global business math courses parallel to my, no. Uh, you have to uh, finalize your bachelor first, otherwise we cannot uh, guarantee a place uh, for uh, for uh, the program. So first, uh, please uh, finalize your bachelor, but you can apply during finalizing the bachelor degree. So we always say you get a conditional acceptance uh, if your application and the hearing is okay, but uh, we cannot give you the place when you have not uh, finalized the bachelor degree. Is it? I mean, I, mean I don't know if, if you're a JKU student or coming from another university. Um, at JKU, you, you know, um, you could probably enter uh, master courses. Okay, uh, in the management program, because I know that bachelor students are also allowed to take uh, certain credits in master classes and then um, do these courses in parallel to your bachelor, but still we cannot, um, you know, officially accept you for the global business program before you graduated from the bachelor program. So what we would recommend probably in your case would be that you finish your bachelor as soon as possible, take some management courses that would that you could also count for our program because uh, the courses, as you've seen from the curricula, usually for the first year, they overlap. So you can use the time while finishing your bachelor also to take some courses that we can then also consider um, for the master program in global business. So yes, um, does the international year of the BEC program always start in general? Yes. So. Uh, we have not uh, mentioned when the different best starts. So uh, mm -hmm. track one, Troika starts in October in Russia. Uh, then you come to uh, Austria and you finalize in June uh, in Italy. Uh, ACT, ACT, starts in end of August in Canada. Then uh, is, you go to, uh, to, to Taiwan till January. And you finalize in, uh, we have now April, end of April, the uh, international year of the ACT uh, program at JQU. And the BEC program uh, starts in January in Canada. Then you, uh, you continue studying at JQU till end of June. And from end to June till end of August, you will study in Lima, Peru. So you study during, you, you have no official holidays more or less and you use, uh, can use <laughs> the, the, the holidays to uh, study uh, your program, yeah, and take the courses. So this is probably something we anyway have to add um, that the international year is not um, scheduled around uh, vacations that you usually have in a normal Austrian term. So as it's an international program, um, for instance, in the ACT program, you don't have a long uh, vacation for Christmas because in Taiwan there is no Christmas. So you usually have one or two days off for Christmas, but you're not going home for Christmas. So you usually have like one week to, of transfer time between the terms in the international year. Uh, but for instance, in no, neither in the um, or in the ACT program, you have vacations in February. So they are usually normal classes of the international year. This is just something that you have to consider um, if you plan your studies, that the international year is really international. So you also have to adapt to time zones, but also to the local vacation uh, times, um, which are not the same as in the usual uh, Austrian uh, semester. And maybe I want to add on this point, uh, one additional uh, thing, so uh, don't think that it is possible during the international year to work beside uh, the study program. 
So this is the question we always get, maybe sometimes also in the hearings. Uh, no, it's not possible. It's really a full-time study program and it's not possible during the international year, so do you, during your study abroad and also if you come back in the three months to JTU uh, to work beside the study program. So, okay, then we I will go to the next question. Is, is the Global Business Master course also available for students with a bachelor in business law? Mm -hmm. uh, we have to check how many uh, business and economics courses uh, you have in business law, but maybe it's possible. If you have yeah. 30 ECTS on business law, uh, on business and economics courses, it should be possible uh, without additional, doing additional courses uh, to enter into the program. Yeah, we have already had some JKU students that did the business law program and uh, as I know from the past, we we are now also adapting our curricula and the admission criteria. So usually you should have enough business uh, courses in order to meet this criteria. Um, we just usually double check to make sure that you have this 30 ECTS in um, business courses, uh, but uh, usually you should be fine in in our courses and also admitted to the program. Mm -hmm. So the next question is from Iris. So can you also start in the summer term for the uh, back path? Yeah, you can start with the uh, national year. So uh, you, so what is always fixed is the international year. So the period where you go abroad. So uh, this is always the the, 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 the period for which we, uh, we recruit the students. So, but if you are recruited and the pass starts in January uh, 2021, uh, it's possible to, uh, to, to, to take courses for the national year if you are selected for the program. Is it answered? So you can okay. anyway always start our programs uh, in the summer or winter term, just uh, the national year courses, the JKU courses. We are just uh, limited in the time that flexibility for the international year because there we depend on our partner universities. But also for the national year, you can schedule your courses as you want to. If you do three of them before the program or you do if you do all of them after the program, it, it does not really matter to us because uh, it's upon you. It's a normal university program to organize it. Just the international year is quite dense um, and is very well structured and also quite demanding in terms of a study organization. Mm. So then there's a question, when will I know if I have been accepted or not for the program? Uh, so uh, yeah, you apply for the program, send us your documents, you will be pre-selected. If you are pre-selected, you uh, get informed from us. So we invite you for the interview. Uh, the interview is either, in a moment, everything is online, but either face-to-face uh, -face or uh, online. Yeah, we hope that uh, the situation will change uh, soon so that we can uh, have face-to-face uh, -face meetings again. But uh, after the meeting, you more or less after one week or two weeks, we give you we write you a decision letter where we uh, tell you if you are accepted or not. And if you are accepted or if we accept you, uh, we give you two weeks to take the place or not. Because, uh, you know, we have uh, limited places for the program and it's nothing worse than not filling the places because every place costs us more or less money. So it's, it's good to have all uh, places filled. So. What makes the Global Business Master more favorable than the management double degree? Uh, I think it's the special setting with the cohort. So there is no cohort setting in the double degree setting. In the double degree, management double degree setting, you are one year off, but uh, you have, uh, you have uh, to manage more, more or less your courses yourself. Is this right, Julia? <laughs> yeah, I mean, what I would like to add is um, that um, apart from the cohort 
setting, it's well, the first thing you're going to study in two different uh, countries and uh, in the double degree um, agreement, you usually just study in one different country, so one other country than Austria. I mean, I would say it depends very much on your personal interests, what is more favorable to you. Because if you say, uh, I love France and I would always uh, want to live there and my boyfriend's from there or whatever, I, I just love, love French, then you would probably go for the double degree with... Uh, with trois because this is just more uh, favorable to you in this situation. Uh, if you think I'm generally open to an international um, program and I would like to study more different countries than just one, I would probably go for the global business master program. Um, it's very hard to say what is more favorable. I mean, what is, as Robert said, one of the main uh, issues or one of the main uh, special things in, in well in our program is like that you have a lot of group works we really focus on uh, uh, international group work in all the courses so it's a lot about learning and working on soft skills when working on uh, projects you know doing your project tasks in your small groups that might be slightly different uh, in the management double degree programs and you always travel with colleagues from these countries so you have Canadians you have Taiwanese you have Peruvians, you have Russians that can tell you about their countries, they can take you to special places and, you know, they depend on you and you depend on them. So <laughs> um, it's like a, a mutual, you know, agreement that um, if you show them things in your country, you're hospitable, you um, take care of them, they will do the same in their countries. Uh, and I think this is helping you also to build up uh, a global net for work that you can also then rely on if once you're in the professional world. So the next question is, uh, if I want to start with the ACT program in August 2021, then I have to apply for it until November 2020. Is that right? It's right, yeah. But yeah, if you have already finalized your bachelor degree and you have time to take some courses, you can apply also a bit earlier, I would say then uh, you would have more time for the international year courses. So as mentioned before, the start of the international year is always fixed. So, so August 2021, yeah, is then, yeah, it's enough time to take national year courses and also to start with the maybe uh, master thesis and uh, use also the international year to collect maybe some international data. Uh, from students or from companies and, uh, and included in your master thesis. Okay, uh, answered. So will we have some free months between the national year and the international year? For example, if the national year starts in October and the back test during the second year starts in January, does this mean that from the end of the national year in June, July, the January of the next year, we are not physically at any university. So <clears throat> fixed is the international year. What do you do in the national year? When you take the courses in the national year, which courses you take first and uh, later, it depends completely on you. What is definitely fixed and really shadowed is the international year. There is no flexibility in taking some courses or when and how, but uh, you can use free time either to work in the international year or to write a master thesis or to take any other uh, courses. Uh, I mean, uh, it depends a lot on your stu study pace. So some students do the courses very fast. Others take more time or work part time throughout the national year. Others, you know, try to do their master's thesis before they go abroad, which is also an option. So um, it depends a lot. Others want to do an internship in between. So um, you can really plan it around the international year as you want to. And uh, we don't uh, get involved here. <laughs> uh, for us, it's just important that you can start international year as a graduate student uh, in a master program. Mm -hmm. So uh, if I have studied the Bachelor of Wirtschaftswissenschaften at JQU, which English proficiency do I need to apply? So uh, the English level you have to have is uh, C1. 
and with uh, Wirtschaftswissenschaften, you should have it. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Any other question? So, okay. Time for questions and answers. Okay. Uh, so, on the homepage it says that the next interviews are in May. Until what date do I need to submit my application? Part of the interview. Yeah. Uh, if you want uh, to be part uh, of the next international or a next international year, yes, uh, you should apply immediately or as fast as possible. Uh, we have uh, more or less, uh, yeah, we have some places left. So therefore we have some free place, places we have to fill, but uh, overall we we start or we have different or two periods where we recruit students in uh, November and in May. And uh, in May we uh, invite students maybe for the international year to take uh, the courses the international year in 2021 yep. so if you apply please also send us um, your information about when you want to start the international year we also said uh, at the moment we're just a bit on hold with the interviews because you can imagine due to the COVID-19 situation uh, we are replanning um, uh, all the programs for this year well for the current summer term um, and this is why we will get back to everyone who we, uh, applied through our email address uh, only probably by mid-May when we know for sure how we are going to organize uh, the next cohort just to be on the safe side and give you the right information. So I'm sorry but I'm still not sure to what email address I have to submit my application when I studied at a different university before. I think I jumped important contact address and then now you yeah. have it. Mm -hmm. uh, Julia, it's your address. <laughs> the MGB. Ah, okay, here is the MGB mm -hmm. address mm -hmm. at uh, the business course. Oh, sorry. So uh, it's MGB at jku.at because then we all have access to it and we can double check if we can admit you without any further requirements. And then we would just go into the next round uh, with when we select the people for the interviews. So this is just, it's good to send you, especially the transcripts and your CV as a for pre-check, and then we can organize for the interviews and the further uh, selection steps, also depending on how many places we have le left. Mm -hmm. Manuel has an additional question. Do we work with companies, group work together in the international year? Yes, the company uh, project is a group work. You will be mixed in an intercultural international team and you will have to <clears throat> work on this real uh, company project. Yeah. And uh, we'll work out all the tasks and then present in front of the CEOs or um, representatives uh, of the companies. We had uh, last week the uh, closing week of the ACP program where all the students presented virtually their uh, their company projects uh, in front of their uh, companies, company representatives. So it is possible to provide English proficiency with the language exam of the university language center or with a certain number of credits gained in the English language. Uh, Julia? Yeah, I mean, it, it depends a lot. Uh, the certificate you get from your university you should state that you have C1 level in English. Um, I don't know where you originally come from. Uh, as said, if you're a JKU student, usually it's already provided uh, by either your bachelor courses or sometimes even with your um, um, the certificate that you got from school when you graduated from high school, uh, your A-levels. Um, so it depends a bit. Um, Okay, then um, if it's, yeah, uh, an it Italian university it would be good if the university certificate shows that you have C1 level. Um, is the course that you took uh, in the bachelor degree, is it completely taught in English or is it uh, Italian or German taught? Because if your bachelor program is also 
completely in English, then you anyway would also meet the requirements. Uh, it also depends, I don't know if you've done a previous exchange program uh, with an English speaking country, then you could also meet the requirements there. So it would be good if you send us the, your email, just attach the certificates of uh, the English language classes from your university and the CV, uh, where we can see if you've lived abroad for a longer period of time. You have to do a lot of exam in English. The bachelor is in Italian, German, and English, but the majority of courses are in English. Okay. And it should be not, pro not a problem. The best is always to send us the, uh, the information and then we will inform you. This is, mm -hmm. this is why I always say if the students does not, do not come from Czech or University, I always prefer that you send us the transcripts first to the general email address and then we can give you the best information because then we can double check before getting back to you uh, if there are any questions. So, are there any more questions? So we have informed you about the uh, admission procedure, about the selection process, uh, about the program structure. And I think the program structure is very unique, in, especially in Europe. Uh, you will find such a program, I think, in nowhere else. Uh, it's, uh, we have a long uh, history of experience in this program because it started as a specialization within the diploma studies at JQU and it was restructured in the, in the master program 2010 and we have extended uh, 2013 the program with path two with the Troika program and then uh, since uh, last uh, autumn we have path three with uh, the partners in Peru and uh, Canada. Uh, I think uh, we have informed you about the general information. You have our contact addresses. So if you have further questions, please use the MGB uh, email address and you will, uh, we will get back to you uh, and we will inform you and answer all your questions. And if you apply, yeah, please uh, send us your application. Uh, we are happy to uh, get and there is some additional, there is one additional question. What docs do I need to submit as soon as possible for being considered for the autumn intake? The EU Business Administration student. Uh, so uh, you have to send us your CV, a motivation letter, your uh, transcripts. transcripts from the bachelor degree. So uh, Eng guess, English language uh, proof. The English language proof, yeah, but with the VU Business Administration bachelor degree it should not be a problem. Yeah. yeah. And please also write us uh, which uh, pass would be most interesting to you because uh, it depends on the pass, uh, how much remaining places we have, maybe give us one or two priorities uh, just in order to make sure that <laughs> you can be considered for the program because yeah. We will and then always we, always double check if we have a dropout or where we yeah. could best place you. And uh, please consider that your application, the application documents, is uh, is we use the, the documents for the pre-selection. So we look at uh, your grades on your transcripts, and uh, we look also on the motivation letter. Yeah. So take care. Yeah, and uh, what is what you write in this motivation letter? Yeah, and what is also very interesting for us if you have any previous uh, experience abroad. Um, this is something we also have to we also look at, and if you have anything, you know, if you're engaging in any social activities, if you're organizing, uh, I don't know, a club or your uh, school's uh, pupils instructor for something, uh, we also want to get to know you because it's quite a unique setting. We work very close with you. We want, want you really to, to fit into the group of students because you do a lot of small teamwork, et cetera. So we want to get to know you best from your application, but uh, at the second step then in the interview. So we can see uh, if you really um, are suitable for the program.
Yeah, CV and motivation letter, please, in English. Just <laughs> everything in English. Yeah, it's an English yeah. program. So the, 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 the languages are completely uh, okay. The language, uh, the, 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 the program is completely taught in English. Uh, also, the language classes are taught from English to uh, this foreign, second foreign lang uh, language. So if I think we have not mentioned, otherwise I think you have now full information about the program. Hmm. Is there any more question? Okay. So I thank you for your attention. Thanks for uh, the, your questions. Yeah, this uh, is always a good sign uh, if there are questions. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. And uh, we are looking forward to uh, get your applications. Yeah, thank you for taking the time and uh, you can always come back to us via email or call us uh, when you have any questions and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, so thank you very much.